Hi everyone, it's Danny. Alrighty, it is time to make an update on the ICU chamber for my orchids. This is week two and some stuff are good, some stuff are bad, but isn't that just the way it goes? So let's see what my orchids are doing. So I'm gonna show you the orchids that have noticeable differences, whether they are starting to grow new growths or roots or the ones that are taking a turn for the worst. The other ones which don't necessarily have anything exciting or bad going on, I'm just gonna leave them be for now. So let's start with the sickest of the lot and it's this one right here. This is a back division which from the get-go I presumed it will not do so great. And indeed, hopefully you can see the pseudobulbs are all desiccated. There's pretty much nothing green anymore on this orchid. I really doubt this will do great. It did have an eye. Let me try to find it. It does have an eye right here. But if the orchid does not have enough substance in the pseudobulbs, I really doubt this eye will do anything. So for me, this is a goner. I still see a little bit of green, I'm just gonna keep it, but I'm afraid this one simply will not make it. This back bulb here is the Lycasti Aromatica, and good news, <laughs> this one has started to grow. So I'm gonna try to find it for you. There is hmm, something growing here, poking out from here. Not sure if you can see it. It's slightly glossy. It didn't used to be here, so this one is coming out of dormancy and it's starting to grow. At this point, I'm not sure if this is a flower spike or a new growth. Really, I wish it was a new growth because this orchid does not have roots and if it's producing flowers, ah, not okay. Not okay at all. So I really hope this is a new growth. Okay, this right here is the Calia Intermedia Aquini crossed with Intermedia Cerulea. I really didn't know what to say about this one because the new growth, this is the newest growth actually, does not necessarily have available eyes. But good news, this one is producing a new growth from a, hmm, an older pseudobulb. And I'll give you a close up. Too much. There we go. So this right here is an eye that is starting to develop and it's slightly, slightly glossy which means it's growing. So I'm really happy. I think this one will do great, but it will take a while until this one will bloom, obviously. Uh, she's a little bit desiccated, a little bit of a back division, but that's perfectly fine. I'm glad she's growing. One orchid that is making me kind of nervous is this one. This is the Oncidium Twinkle Cinnamon. And this one came with a new growth right here, and I think it is developing but very, very slow, and the pseudobulbs keep getting more and more shriveled. So I'm getting nervous with this one. This orchid needs roots a sap. Really, it does. I don't think it's on the verge of death or anything just yet, but I really hope for some roots and some signs of growth, faster growth, sooner rather than later, because all we are doing now is just exhausting energy for nothing. So please, start producing some roots. Okay, this right here is the Epicatlia El Hatillo Pinta. And as expected, this is growing her new growth beautifully right here. Sorry for that voice crack. And yeah, the pseudobulbs are getting kind of shrivelly, but that's pretty okay. Because she is putting her energy into this new growth, which is going fantastically fast, given the situation. So yeah, I'm really hoping for some roots soon to get these pseudobulbs hydrated but she's doing wonderful. And this is the Pleione Maculata pseudobulb, and I don't know if you noticed, but I have something growing right on the tip right here. And this is slightly, eh, I kind of would have preferred to have growth from the base. I don't see anything just yet. I think there is something plumping up here, but I'm not sure just yet. This is definitely a pseudobulb, and from my previous experience with Pleiones, uh, these pseudobulbs are kind of tiny, they're not very full, but maybe I will be wrong. When this thing starts to produce roots, I'll probably pot it like this. If this orchid does not decide to produce any growth from the base, that is that. But yeah, there's something growing on this one as well. Okay, so these were the orchids that are on the upper shelf. <laughs> Let's call it like that. One thing that I do almost every day is actually replenish the moisture in their little jars here because it's very dry in the house. So what I do is I get a container. This is actually from my iron, but I like that it has this lip and I just put some water and that's about it. And it keeps everything pretty moist. Alrighty, now let's take a look at the other bigger orchids. So this is the Dendrobium Bariota and we have some growing on 
here something yeah English fell don't mind me so something is growing that's the main idea let me try to find it so here you go underneath all these roots which I will need to cut because many are dead so hopefully you can see we have this growth right here it is growing pretty fast and also I do see in the back another one really hard to show at this point because it's tiny but definitely this one is visible so this little guy has started to grow. My pride and joy, Kalia Maxima. Oh, she's a good girl. Let me show you. So, as you can see, we have a new growth here, growing nicely. And there's a second one right here. So this pseudobulb has been keeping busy. The funny thing is that the pseudobulb is really not shriveled at all. Where do you have energy? So yeah, this one was a very, very good division. And she is just doing wonderfully. Alrighty, this is a Calia which is taking a turn for the worse, I'm afraid. This is the cornerstone compass. So, as you can see, the back bulb right here is really not looking okay. Oh, it's so mushy. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this one. So yeah, this is not okay. I'm not sure what's happening with the pseudobulb, but he's not viable anymore and I will need to cut it. However, we do have an available eye here. It just seems to not do anything and I really hope the tip is not damaged. I'll give you a close-up so you can see. Where am I? Here I am. So, this is the available eye. As you can see, the tip is a little bit damaged. It's not really doing anything. But, yeah, I'm not giving up because you never know. But this little bulb is a goner, I'm afraid. And this is the Selajni Panjurata. She's one of the good girls. <laughs> so she has two new growths developing right now. What's wrong with my camera? So this is one of them. This is the most evolved one, let's call it like that. Most advanced one. But this back bulb right here has a growth developing as well. Please, camera, don't play tricks with me. On the bad side, these pseudobulbs are gonna get really shriveled. It is to be expected, but pretty soon this one will not look so great. When we're gonna have roots, things will get better, though. But I'm glad for these growths. Another one that is taking a turn for the worse is the Kalia green hair pig. Oh no! Well, yeah, the back bulb right here is kind of depleting itself. It's not yet very mushy. I'm just gonna let it be for a little while. But the most concerning thing about this orchid, so this is the newest pseudobulb, the one most prone to producing new growths. The two new growths that it could have had are already cut right here, so this is a really back division. And I do have one more available eye that I can see at the moment. Maybe it has more. However, the problem is that it looks a little damaged. Hopefully you can see. And I, yeah, I don't know if that pseudobulb looks very good there at the base. There seems to be a problem there. Anyway, I'm not keeping my hopes high for this one. Uh, from the beginning, I was not sure if it's gonna make it, so I kind of expected it. I'm really sorry, but I think I'm just gonna order this one at a healthier stage. Um, it's okay, it's not Anna's fault or anything, because, you know, you never know with these back divisions. Some will catch, some will not. Not giving up on this guy just yet, but really, he's not looking all that great to me. Not sure about his fate further on. But let's end on a happy note. This is the Vanagara Apple Blossom Variety Pink, and the new growth is doing fantastic. It's starting to pick up some reddish color, which is normal for this orchid, so this is one of the growths, but I do believe I see another one trying to form right here. Hopefully you can see it. It's a tiny one, but I think it's plumping up. I am not sure, but I am sure that this one will develop pretty great. So, yeah, the Ivanagara is doing great. Okay, so these are the major news from my ICU. As you can see, some of the orchids are starting to grow faster than others, and this is how they are. Each of them is their own individual with their own sort of personality. So, yeah, you gotta have some patience with them. So, what I didn't show you is not doing particularly bad, but it's not doing anything new either. So we'll see how they develop in the weeks to come. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how things are going for the moment. And I'm really, really happy that I just discovered last night that the Calia Intermedia, which is this one right here, I really, really wanted this one. Um, yeah, she's doing okay, not from the newest suitable, but from a back bulb. She's doing mighty fine, growing a new growth. I'm, that's like the highlight. Might not look that way, but I really wanted this one to do great. Also, I am not sure 
about the uh, what are you the Kali Amethyst of Glossa. This is again one that I really want to catch and to do great. I think I see something going on, but it's not really visible. It might be just wishful thinking, but she's not doing bad, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, we'll see next week how things are doing. Thank you for joining. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more videos with orchids from me, simply subscribe to my channel. You can also stay up to date with how my orchids are doing, the move and everything. So yeah, if you'd like to see more videos, just subscribe. Also, feel free to leave me comments, suggestions or questions you might have in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. And I think I'm going to share with you the tutorial that I made on how to care for Kalia orchids because we talked about Kalias a lot lately. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!